And it's Ken Kratzer for CBSI Services with another edition of our Talking Business interview series, talking to leaders in the fields of banking, insurance, customer service, digital marketing, and business education, all to, to highlight the work of our team at CBSI, located in Harrison, New York, providing insurance benefits to the credit card and payments industry. And we are very glad today to talk with Michael Cruz, who is a partner and head of content at a brand new agency called Summer Friday. And he's also working on the International Echo Award contest. And uh, Michael, good to see you. How are you doing today? I am fantastic. You caught me on a great day. <laughs> well, Summer Friday, uh, got it. You know, you mentioned you, you just, uh, you were uh, for uh, a, a, long, a number of years at Gray Advertising and then also at the Drum Agency. And now you've uh, started the Summer Friday Company. Tell us about it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, you know, a little bit of my history and my track record. I think uh, to your point, yes, uh, I, I was at Gray for a little while, went over into, started my own company actually with Rob Simone, Hiccup Media. And then that folded into uh, a merger with uh, the drum agency, uh, ultimately. And then from there, you know, I think COVID has is, is really hit a lot of businesses. It was a very tricky time. Um, the agency, drum agency, decided for many reasons that it was no longer a company that was viable to run, and we closed down shop. Um, mm -hmm. And at that point, you know, me and my partner, uh, Rob Simone, we were kind of figuring out what to do next. Uh, and we decided to, you know, really harness a lot of the talent that we've, that we had uh, acquired and also just the understanding of the client relationships and started to spring up this new idea of like running with the new agency during this time and, and launching it. So we started Summer Friday in the midst of all of this, uh, which was great. Um, we didn't know it was going to be great, but it turned out to be actually phenomenal. We saved some jobs. Uh, we got, we hit the ground running and we've uh, won a couple of RFPs already uh, and are looking to continue on our success and doing great work with clients. Well, 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 that's a quite a accomplishment to start a new agency and attract business during this period. Let's get back to that in a moment. I want to talk a little bit about uh, a project that you were involved with for a number of years, the International Echo Awards, uh, recognizing the best in data-driven marketing and digital marketing. And uh, uh, tell us a little bit about that. I know you, I've been, had the chance to attend several of the award presentations that have been held in Boston. Las Vegas and Los Angeles in recent years. Uh, and I know you had, a, had an award presentation this year. Tell us a little bit about uh, the International Echo Awards. Yeah, I think, I think what the, the best thing I can say is one, I mean, it's an amazing award program to be involved in. Um, I always lead with the idea that this is the award show that matters most to your clients. In other words, uh, if you're an agency who, who's won an Echo, then you're doing effective work essentially um and to me that's that's the standout um you know there's there are award shows that focus only on creative this one focuses on everything across the board it's 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 new age it's technology creative and results uh and the results component always interesting i think the work that comes through is has left me inspired being someone from the uh agency side uh, so every time I've attended, some of the work is just exceptional. You know, the things that you see in terms of how, how the creative is formed all the way through to execution and then how it's optimized and the results. I mean, that's what we focus on uh, in terms of what becomes a winner. And, uh, and it's just been great to be a part of. Well, I know at the ceremonies that I've attended and uh, had a chance to talk to some of the honorees, uh, uh, one that stood out was in Boston when an agency out of Michigan that did work for the United States Navy, uh, won an award for their campaign attracting uh, cryptologists, those who can uh, uh, break codes and set up uh, uh, coding for, for them. And they had a campaign where they sent out puzzles that only if you really had a strong aptitude uh, would you be able to figure it out. And they, they uh, received a great award for that. Tell us about some of the awards that, uh, the, uh, that stand out to you uh, that have received Echo's uh, uh, in recent years? I mean, I think, I think we actually talked a little bit about this one, which was uh, Sick Kids, which, which was the Diamond Award winner um, in 
I think they've they've won a few, but well, back in 2017, I think they were winning as well. Um, and you know, one of the ones that stood out for me in terms of one of their campaigns was called Family Tree, which was interesting. It's this idea. One, I love the idea of connectivity. So um, the idea here was they were raising money and they had this, um, they were leveraging some technology, social media, and connecting the dots on who's, who's connected to who and basically lifting the, um, the, uh, the idea there is belonging, right? So when we support each other, we wanna know that we're supporting a friend. Uh, and then the support and the accolades that came along with that was tremendous. So I think, again, that one to me stood out because of the creative uh, and the execution was flawless. It was absolutely beautiful. And in subsequent years, they've done so much great work. Uh, and that's one, one client, one agency that's doing amazing work that always leaves me inspired. And this is a, a competition that uh, for many years was administered at really the pride of joy of the uh, Direct Marketing Association. And now is under the banner of the Association of, of National Advertisers. Tell us a little bit about, uh, you had, just had a competition and, uh, and uh, the award, uh, the uh, request now for uh, entries that's going on for the next uh, award presentation in 2021. Um, so I think, yeah, we have our deadline, which is coming up for early entries in August 3rd. Um, and the entry period ends September 18th this year. So if you guys do have incredible work, uh, we're accepting it still, and we, we, we look for that. Um, in terms of the ANA involvement, I think it's been phenomenal. Uh, the support of the ANA has been great, and it's a massive um, organization. Having, having looked into and having the input from the brand side has been helpful as well. I mean, they have a lot of brand relationships, so bringing that uh, into the fold, informing, you know, and connecting the dots between, almost bridging the dots, uh, bridging the gap between clients and agencies is what I feel the award show did this year. Um, and I'm hoping that that continues. Yeah, tell Virtual us about is challenging, but you know, I think that's, that's where new things are, you know, things are trending towards virtual. So we'll see what happens for the year coming. Well, that's going to be interesting because, you know, so much uh, now has been the switch from uh, live events to, uh, on, to uh, a virtual, to online, to video conferencing, and, uh, and now communicating with customers as a, uh, uh, more uh, work is, uh, more communications is online. How do you, uh, tell us a little bit about the types of campaigns that, that are eligible for this uh, between, I mean, the whole business has shifted from direct mail to, uh, to uh, different types of uh, data-driven campaigns and now online and social media campaigns. Tell us about the spectrum of, of campaigns that are, are part of the entry process. Well, I think what's amazing is, you know, in terms of, you know, sectors, channels, and special awards, uh, one of the things that's great that the Echo has done phenomenally is adjust to the times. So when you think about sectors, you know, anything from automotive to business products, financial services, you know, publishing, entertainment, nonprofit. So those are all acceptable entries, obviously, uh, in terms of like the sectors that we look at, there are more health and wellness. Um, and then, you know, we look at some of the special categories, whether it's data inspired or customer acquisition campaigns under 250,000. So, I mean, there's a variety of different ways, uh, different areas you can enter work. Um, I, think it, I think it's worth uh, just visiting the site as well, downloading the entry kit, looking through uh, and seeing what we have in terms of availability for entries. And tell us a little bit about uh, the website uh, that the information you just mentioned is available on and what the entry process uh, would look like uh, in terms of the, the type of materials that uh, you have to submit in order to, uh, to complete an entry. Sure. I mean, you can go to echoawards.org um, and there you'll, you'll basically have a full uh, breakdown of exactly what to look for. You have your download uh, for the entry kit. Uh, and when you talk about submission, I mean, that's one of the things that we really wanted to do. I, I understand that it's uh, some, some agencies are lacking certain resources when it comes to submitting the work. Uh, it becomes a barrier. We wanted to make that really easy this year. Um, I would say, based on my experience judging as well, uh, the results section is always one that some people skimp out on. Uh, it's probably the most important section to fill out when you're, when you're submitting your, uh, your entry. 
but that has a really clear breakdown. Uh, the entry process is fairly straightforward, um, you know, in terms of, of how you would build out any case study. So I think uh, submitting work has been e is pretty easy in terms of uh, assets. We, we, we urge you guys to submit as many assets as possible. Um, so it's all there and it's pretty straightforward. Very good. And you've got some uh, great strategic partners uh, listed uh, supporting your project, uh, the likes of Deloitte Digital, Disney, Facebook, iHeart uh, Media, United States Postal Service. Tell us about uh, the, uh, uh, the corporate support you have for this project. So, I mean, there's a lot of support. It's been going on for years. Uh, so I think, I think, uh, in terms of what I can say to it, I mean, uh, I've only mostly been working directly with the ANA. Uh, I know that the United Postal Service has a special entry uh, for direct mail. Uh, and I think that that's been amazing to have uh, their support. Uh, and we're looking for more. And I think, I think, I think we're always looking for more. Um, I think it's important for uh, companies like that to support this kind of award show specifically because of the effectiveness of the work that we're trying to highlight. Um, and I think so many people skirt around that too many times. So, you, know. and you mentioned the, uh, uh, the uh, due date is September 18th for, for entries. Uh, tell us a little bit about the judging process and then the award presentation that you're planning in 2021. Hopefully it's going to be a live event by then. Hopefully it will be a live event. If it is, it will be in Orlando, um, which is great. Uh, as we did this year, we just got by. Um, uh, and in terms of judging, we're going to open the calls for judges. And we have, uh, this year is gonna be invitation only. But uh, what's great about that, there's, there's a few reasons why we wanted to make sure that we had the proper judges curated in order to you know, properly judge the work uh, and Moving forward, that leads into um, what we were doing before as a live judging event. Uh, what's great is that the ANA has been a part of other award shows and has tons of experience on virtualizing. So I think we are prepared and ready to virtualize. Staying positive, we'll see what happens, but it, it's most likely gonna be a virtual event. Okay, now I, I promise I wanted to let you talk a little bit about your new agency summer friday summerfriday.com uh, uh tell us a little bit about uh the agency and and some of the services that you are providing to your clients yeah for sure so i think w the way we explain it is we're sort of at the cross section of nimble uh and and execution so like we're very nimble and we're able to execute um really quickly and i think um as far as our services, we've, we've, we're content strategy across the board into execution. So that's what we offer. And any key verticals that you tend to uh, 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 serve? Yeah, in terms of verticals, I mean, we're, I would like to say we're vertical agnostic, but we have a ton of experience in financial and the financial world, as well as uh, insurance and utility. Okay, well, those are two uh, areas that CBSI uh, works in, in banking and insurance uh, uh, for over uh, 40 years now. Michael Cruz, um, who is uh, on the board of the International Echo Awards and also a partner and head of content at uh, New Agency Summer Friday. Do you have a final uh, thought for us today? Get those entries in, man. We're looking for some great work. Okay. We will look forward to that, take a look at the entry and, uh, and uh, promote uh, something we've enjoyed being a part of for uh, uh, several years now, the International Echo Awards, recognizing the best in uh, data-driven marketing and digital marketing uh, uh, on an international basis. And it's been fun to participate. We look forward to doing, uh, uh, supporting the event uh, this coming year. And Michael Cruz from Summer Friday, great to see you. And, uh, uh, this is Ken Kratzer for CBSI Services, Talking Business, representing our team in Harrison, New York, providing insurance-based benefits to the credit card and payments industry. Good to see everybody. I'm in my home office in White Plains, New York, and have a great day. We'll see you again very soon. Take care.